Welcome to video 27 on Flight Sim Navigation. In this video we are going to add an LED output to our Arduino and configure it in the MobiFlight software such that the LED lights up when we press this button to toggle the autopilot in the Flight Sim then this LED will show the status of the autopilot on or off. Beware when you connect an LED to an Arduino to always use a resistor in series to limit the current. Otherwise you might blow up your Arduino output pin or the LED or both. Uh, what uh, value resistor is needed depends on the type of LED and the brightness you want it to have. So it's difficult to say but I would never go below 220 or 270 ohm. But sometimes even 10 or 20 kilo ohm is needed to limit the brightness. Let's have a look at MobiFlight. To start it up we go to our MobiFlight folder that we created in the previous video. And then we start this MF connector app. It should auto detect the Arduino that is still connected. So we wait for the green light over here. Yeah, we have it now. We have been building this uh, push button in the previous video. There it is, push button for the master switch of the autopilot. And this time we're going to create an output, an LED for the Arduino that is an output signal. But first we have to tell the Arduino that we have additional hardware. For that we go to the extra menu and then settings. I have no idea why it is hidden two levels deep. Uh, but anyhow, <laughs> uh, we click on this MobiFlight tab. We click on our MobiFlight module and there we have our button. But now we want to add this LED. So let's go to add device and we can find here LED output. Uh, it is on pin, uh, what was it, 49 or whatever we want to have it. I think I chose 49. And then uh, we are going to give it a name. I will name this LED Autopilot Ma oh, Master. Did I type that right? No, not at all. Master. That looks good. Uh, before we go, we first upload this to the Arduino. Let's click over here. Yes, and there it goes. I saw the lights blinking, so it is ready any second. Yes, it is. And now we are done. I can also save this file again. Uh, I changed the configuration. Let's uh, call this uh, video 27. Then I always have it ready for later if something goes wrong. OK to get out of here and now we are ready to configure our software. Uh, what do we want to happen with this LED? Well it is an output so let's double click over here. We are in the output tab. Uh, I am going to configure LED Autopilot Master. I will make it active and now we have to find the uh, activity over here. It is an FSUIPC uh, activity that we need to select and uh, I'm going to find the autopilot master switch. Uh, let me have that, yeah, over here, master switch. And then don't forget to click use and now we see the values have been filled in over here. We don't need anything else. We could even take this tick mark away because we don't have a transformation. Uh, but we still uh, have to tell that this is the LED, the LED that we just connected. So we go now over here to display. We select our module, only one we have, but if you have multiple, it is a pin type. And now over here all the output pins are listed. Well, we had only one, so that makes it easy, but we gave it a nice recognizable name. 
and right now we should be able to test so let's do that I connected this yellow wire to pin 49 over there and now if I click this test button our LED should burn and it does and if I stop then it stops so this is uh, okay we can save this uh, configuration uh, so let me uh, click save oh I cannot click save I don't know why uh, file save and 27 okay 27 yeah it's safe now I, I had expected that to be uh, active when I changed something but I don't know uh, anyhow we are going to start the flight sim now there we have the flight sim active it's FSX team edition and we have uh, a green light for the FSUIPC status and that's this time not forget to press run first and now I can uh, apply autopilot over here and we should see the LED over here and yeah it, it is, that is working but now what happens if I press the button that should also still work of course yeah autopilot off and autopilot on well that is uh, a good project we are successful we have a push button for the autopilot and an LED that tells us if it's on or off it's all working fine uh, next video uh, I think it's a good moment to uh, have a look at these digital encoders with which we can tune radio frequencies or autopilot heading altitude and what have you so maybe see you back there